Okay, well, uh, this is speaking mock test, and I am Professor Kurum Jinjua, your IELTS examiner. What's your good name? Sir, my name is Alian Aziz. You can call me Alian. Okay, Alian, where are you from? Uh, I'm basically from the district Jehlam. I have been born here and I have been staying here for all my time. So I am living in Jehlam city. Okay. Could you please let me know about your hometown? Uh, yes, my hometown is also Jehlam. As I told you earlier that I have been born here and I am staying here for all the time. Okay. How is your hometown different than other hometowns? Well, I think the plus point of my hometown is that it is not much big or the crowded city. It is a uh, short, uh, it is a, you can say a small city and there is not much crowd here and you feel yourself easy here. Okay. Uh, do you like reading? Yes, uh, you can say I like it as I am a student and uh, I have to cope with this all my time. So you can say I like reading. What kind of books do you normally read? Well, I have a keen interest in business and such things. So you can say I read books related to it. Okay. Uh, do you feel comfortable in reading books uh, online or uh, the manual book? Well, you can say as the world is changing and uh, the normal or the modern world is the world of online things. You can find almost everything online and uh, you find it easy to study it online. So I am also in favor of studying it online. Online, okay. Don't you think that when we uh, read online, your, our attention you know, can be diverted from that particular thing? Yes, that's uh, uh, also a point. But I think that with the modern technology, as we are studying online, there are some features in our phones which are known as do not disturb or something like that. And uh, when you are reading, you may turn on that feature and you will not get disturbed. Okay, mm -hmm. well now let's come to word part 2. Yes, I am giving you the topic and your topic is Describe an interesting person uh, you have not met but you want to know more about him. Okay, uh, where have you heard about that person? Who is the person? And what is special in him? Okay, this is your topic and you may have one and a half minutes to prepare the topic. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, I would like yes, to sir. speak now. Well, generally in our daily life, we come in contact with numerous persons. Some of them we know, such as business personalities or you may say some uh, religious personalities who had done some things in their lives that had made their mark. And uh, people like them and know them for their such deeds which have made their mark. People are generally attracted by their personalities and get inspired by them. Well, today I am going to talk about a personality which I have not met in person yet, but uh, that personality has inspired me throughout my life. <clears throat> you can say as I grow older, I have a keen interest in cars, I must say. So as I have grown older, I like to get information about them and uh, everything. <clears throat> I like to have information about new models and such things. And the personality who has helped me throughout my this journey is uh, no other than Sunil Sarfraz Manj. I think you also know him as he is the most emerging business personality of Pakistan. He is the CEO of Parkwheels.com which is the most leading site nowadays in Pakistan for the car community. They have different blogs and everything related to cars and uh, I think it is the most authentic website where we can find information related to almost everything about cars. Okay, how can we judge any personality? Should we judge any personality through his dressing or his uh, you know, way of communication? Well, I think the both things that you have mentioned play equal role in judging the personality of a person. Not only his clothing or his communication should be considered. Clothing also play a vital role in judging a personality as first impression is the last impression. So when you see a person is uh, if he is wearing some formal or something like that decent, then you may consider him an educated person or maybe a business personality or something like that. And the communication is equally important when you talk to a person if his way of speaking and everything is good 
then you find him a good person and educated person and you get inspired by him do you think that the people in your country uh, blindly follow anyone well you may say that the people who have been following their forefathers are still blindly following some uh, personalities like uh, i would like to mention some uh, uh, special personalities like political personalities you know in our country people follow them from their forefathers and are kept following them even after knowing their drawbacks and everything so i can say that people are still following some personalities blindly okay so how do you feel that whenever you have to uh, meet any personality what should be the characteristics of judging any personality well as uh, we have also talked earlier about it i think the two basic things in judging a personality is uh, the way he looks <clears throat> and secondly the way he talks these both things play very important role and are equally important in judging some personality well when we go to a person and communicate with him if his communication skills are good if he speaks politely if he speaks good then we consider him a good person and uh, his image in our mind is good and equally if we see a person for uh, from far and uh, his what do you clothing think is that good what is the role of communication uh, in judging the personality of any person well the role of communication in judging the personality of a person is that when one speaks then we know about him well uh, you can say that the language of a person shows either he is educated or not from which background he belongs and uh, what kind of person is him so i think it is very important in judging the personality okay well alian uh, you have spoken uh, the wonderful english alhamdulillah you are very fluent enough and uh, thank you sir i am expecting uh, 7.5 bands and more than that Inshallah. and uh, wish you best of luck for your upcoming test thank you all sir. the best thank you